our viewers and subscribers welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in to another one here on the coach's desk we appreciate you being here so we saw a little clip with asafa and his whole reaction to what um otto bolden said about elaine thompson era so i'll be just telling you a little bit about it and then you know i'll let you listen probably some of you heard it before but i'm just gonna share it here again so um please remember to like share and subscribe so people um after bowling in an interview of course he he works with nbc gives his his coverage and his prediction on on track and field he's a very good track and field athlete um in the past he's an olympian world champion ship um medalist and all of these things so he he quite he had a very um good career. See? Now he's into media, he's doing well for himself. And he was on a podcast and a podcast and they asked him about Elaine Thompson era and he his 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 feedback, his answer, his response to what um he was asked was was kind of not sitting well with a lot of Jamaicans, you know. Of course, you know, Elaine is the two-time double Olympic champion and you know she picked up a an injury um where she aggravated uh, uh an Achilles issue that she has had over the years you know and um she wasn't able to you know prepare and she ran two races and she didn't do too well in those races so on that premise it's a possibility that that's why you know Otto Bolden would have made that conclusion and if you know the genesis with Elaine, she was at MVP, did pretty well for herself there. But they had a fallout and she, she migrated from MVP. Her husband started to train her. Then, you know, he, he sought out a coach. He got Shaniki Ricketts. Not Shaniki Ricketts, my bad. Um, Shaniki Osborne, a.k.a. Shelley. And she was doing well. She actually got Elaine to, to, to make the, 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 the world championship team. And, you know, things was looking good on an upward trajectory. She started training um, in the new season with Shaniki. You know, things started out well. But then again, negotiations broke down because of some, you know, uh, financial, financial sort of um, um, situation. Now, they believe that Shaniki was asking too much at the time, knowing that she possibly wasn't that established as a coach. So... That was the situation with 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 Elaine Thompson era. Then she went over to the elite performance track club under the guidance of Ronaldo Walker, you know, and um, she started out well again, continued from where she left off with Shaniki doing well, and then boom, in the middle of, the, of it, you know, she got hurt, and we understand that she went to to to, to you well, she went to Eugene, uh, she didn't perform. As um, persons would want her to perform, she came last in that event. You know, a, a lot of uproar about oh, why she, did she choose that meet? She was to run at another meet. She, that meet cancelled. Then she went to New York and she ran and she ruptured her, uh, her uh, Achilles. So that's the situation with Elaine. So I guess that's the reason why Otto Bolden would have made that um, sit, um, command, uh, remarks that she is. Pretty much he's saying that she's done. She, there's no coming back for Elaine Thompson era. You know, and um, Asafa weighing on the situation and he said that he, he has lost a whole lot of respect for Otto Bolden on that remark that he made about Elaine Thompson era. And what Asafa is saying, you know, people, is that you used to be a track athlete. You know the rigors of going through, you know, athletics and, and 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 what training is like you would have gone to the world championship to the olympic games and for you to be making a, a comment about such top athlete um it, it didn't sit well with asafa powell asafa was really upset and he he, he looked in the camera <laughs> and asafa said listen i've lost respect for 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 that man and when he spoke about him not being able to get that last uh, you know that three uh something to make the 100 he said that's fine that's in the past he's retired now whatever so he's saying that you know that that's not it but the, the, the fact that he quote-unquote attacked elaine it, it didn't sit well and like asafa and many 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 track 
fanatics, many track fans, many, many uh commenters weighing on the on the matter and and they they weren't too pleased with that comment from asafa from autobold in, in in itself you know because they believe that you know for someone who has <laughs> some some sort of jamaican lineage he, he should not be you know speaking so 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 harsh and, and about the jamaicans in in that sense because um, what if she decides to, to, to change coach and go overseas as Stephen Francis would have alluded to or what if she decided to stay in Jamaica under Ronaldo Walcott and she continues and the things turn what would Otto Bolden think so it, it, it's it's it, it's on that premise I believe that um, Asafa was was really 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 devastated from those comments and if him say lose respect for him and you know say he took that to heart and him take that very deep because um probably persons don't know Asafa and Elaine they are they are very good friends. You know what I mean? Yeah man, they are very good friends outside of track and field and, and for someone to be saying that about a friend, you know, it it, it especially persons who would have shared the same career path. That that is a thing, you know. That is the thing that 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 is mind boggling to Asafa Paul. So I mean, in 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 my in my estimation, I I don't agree with 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 Otto Bolden. I do not agree with him in in terms of he would have to explain to me the details of 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 what he meant by that comment because sometimes. In the spur of the moment, you answer a question, and I probably really that you mean for say me. I, I'm giving him the, him the benefit of the doubt, definitely. Yeah, man, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt um, in in regards to this particular topic. So I, I would love um, for I don't know if Otto is gonna touch about that topic. I don't know because you know when 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 I speak on 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 issues like these, it it is it is it is very very. <laughs> I don't even uh, know the word to say. You know, Elaine Thompson era, whenever persons talk about her, she's defended totally in the public uh, domain. So I, I, I suspect that, you know, <laughs> Arthur Bolden probably never know that he would have gotten that feedback. See? But I mean, if he believes that, then it's his opinion again. You get what I'm saying? It's his opinion, but um, does the opinion sit well with people? I doubt it because of who we're pretty much talking about. Elaine Thompson era, the two-time double Olympic champion. You understand? So I am wishing Elaine all the best. See? And on our year where I suffer say in this one, people, I want you to share a comment in the comment section. Until next time, I'm out. He was talking about Elaine. And he hinted that she may never come back to be the person that she is. Is it something that you concur with? I appreciate you for asking this question. Yes. <laughs> because um, I lost a lot of respect for the boy. So he said that, you know, because as an athlete, um, as an athlete that everybody looks up to, you know, and he made his courage competing. Um, he said, he, he also said in the podcast that he knew I wasn't going to run the last three something. <laughs> But that is that is not, that is not, like I'm I'm okay with that because that's in the past. I'm retired, you know what I mean. And you said that that's, that I'm fine with that. You know what I mean. I have no problem with that. But to, for an athlete to be trying their best to come back to health and to come back in the sport and to um, you know just to try and be the Olympic champion again. And for you to, to, to say that this athlete is done. Um, I lost a lot of respect for this athlete and um, I think Jamaicans are very biased and hypocrites because um, when when no allies, you know, he said something the other day about this, this when it, it, a little conversation that he had with his wife, like Jamaicans you know, jump on her back and start saying she's a sellout, she's this and that, but when Arthur Bowling put down um, Elaine Thompson, nobody said that. I mean, and I, I find that very hypocritical, hypocritical you know, Jamaicans, and I lost a lot of respect for Otto Bowling for saying that, because as an athlete that people look up to, and, uh, you know, past Olympians and someone who knows what it feels.
fees like to go through things like this and to say that about the somebody who is battling you know, injuries and trying to get back to top shape, those are fine big time. I will agree.